I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the September 16th, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show, I win TV, where you win, because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 84% winners and 16% losers. The average winning return is 44% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 545% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago followed closely by AMD which is up 424% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. The average loss is 5% with the worst stock BlackBerry losing 17% since it was purchased over 3 months ago. It was quiet again this week with no buys or sells to report. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets improved this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average moved to very low risk, while the S&P 500 remained flat at moderate risk. The risk level of the Nasdaq 100 remained at high risk and the Russell 2000 transitioned to moderate risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk transitioned to moderate risk this week. This indicates a slight risk of increasing rates. We will keep an eye on this evolving situation for you. Several weeks ago, we published a special edition of iWin TV, where we discussed cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? Our opinion has not changed now that China has moved to regulate cryptocurrencies. The fact that China and prominent bankers like Jamie Dimon feel threatened by cryptocurrencies is evidence of how disruptive cryptocurrencies might be going forward if they are widely adopted. Cryptocurrencies are disruptive because their widespread use minimizes and potentially eliminates the ability of governments and big banks to control and manipulate monetary policy. Click on the link in the comments below, or click on this link above, to learn more about cryptocurrencies and their current valuation. That is all for this week, September 16th, 2017. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. I win TV, see what others can't.